So guys, I'm on the road, yeah, um, in Sarasota, Florida, and uh, I had to drive over, you know, drop somebody um, as part of the hustle, you know the hustle already. So we just drop out the person and we're heading back home, but I had to show you a little bit of uh, Central Florida and, uh, you know, driving on these back roads off the highway, the main thoroughfare, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it is a beautiful thing to see Florida in this light. Historic farmland, you know, just just the expanse of land and, and, and you know, the, the culture and all of that. Yeah, so I'm just going to drive through and show you, you know, what's going on on the sides of the road. Maybe I'll stop, you know, at different points of interest, but for the most part, I'm just going to drive through and let you guys see. So this is... The, the road is called Fruitville Road and uh, I'm gonna title this video basically driving through Central Florida from Sarasota to Port St. Lucie pretty much yeah so check it out now so I made a, a one stop you know and grabbed some food at a local you know uh, barbecue spot in Sarasota food look good food look nice we're ready for hit the road again You're talking about farmlands, you know, as far as the eye can see. Farms and, you know, different crops like that. Yeah. Beautiful, may I tell you. Nice. Green and pretty. That's the road. That's the road. That's properties. Trust me. oranges over there yeah there's a lot of orange farms um, in and around this area but mostly it is really nice houses on big lands big lands I'm telling you trust me it's, it's just crazy you know that these are all houses on these lands man trust me crazy yeah, man. Now we're off the little small roads and we're on the state road. All right, this is State Road 70, and I'm gonna be on this road for 24 miles. Yeah, we're literally cutting right across the mid section of Florida, the central areas of Florida, to get over to the east coast from the west coast. So, yeah. 70 20 24 miles and then we we'll pick up i think it's just gonna redirect me and we, and we stay on this road yeah but you know i got ready another two and uh well two about two hours more before i reach over to port st lucy mm -hmm. and it's just farmlands guys all the different things that are those farmlands everything are those farmlands you know um cow and all these things I mean, I'm, I know many, many Jamaicans, many Caribbean people may have not even taken this route to cross over, you know, from the East Coast to the West Coast and back. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, anything interesting, I walk up on my show now. So guys, I reach one place, run on one part. Run has a name, Mayakaka City. Guys, me nah make it up, me nah make it up. This part of Florida near Mayakaka City. And I mean, as we say before, I just farmland, I just pure farmland, I just pure bush. 
you know you see one and two little houses and stuff but for the most part guys I just source a bush any old night catcher on yourself remember don't make night catcher in Mayakaka city because it's supposed to be dark no brother I you know we love light you understand we love street light and them thing there in a city the houses are far in for the most part it's just farmlands you know um, and it's old it's quaint I like the, the the fact that it's an old dated vibe but you know it screams you know back in the day type of thing and you know say for my side of the, of the kind <laughs> Maya Kaka Maya Kaka City yeah make me like say it whatever leave me alone but yeah the road just keeps on going man the occasional turns yeah but for the most part it just keeps on going you know I am gonna go through a city called Arcadia then I'm gonna go through another city called Closton then I'm gonna go to I'm, I'm in DeSoto County now DeSoto County so we just come off of out of Sarasota County and we're in a DeSoto County yeah and as I said before expanse of, 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 of land you know and bushes it's a nice scenic drive you know if you have a day say for instance you're gonna go to Sarasota and spend the weekend you can stay at a hotel or something like that this would be perfect to drive with a family or with that special loved one but as I said don't stop in a Mayakaka city hey <laughs> We have just got into the city limits uh, of Arcadia and one of the things that I notice about Arcadia right away Use any lane to turn slightly right onto Florida 70 East Southeast Highway 70 Is the fact that they have a bunch of military um, Continue on Florida 70 East for 90 miles They have a bunch of military you know stuff you know um, like rep like um artifacts yeah it's a very old city and everything look really dated you know everything in other city I look dated but me like it because of that very fact that everything looks dated you know Arcadia is in the central part of Florida and me I tell you you know there I wish I, I wish I, I was you know in a in a position to stop and uh, you know check out the city itself you know but yeah we just a cut and go through um hopefully we can stop up the road where we see some whole architecturally distinct buildings and stuff like that you know yeah and if you if you are from um arcadia and watching this video you know please let us talk about your city you know i like it it look western watch it watch them watch them storefront here and storefront here some real back in the day storefront you know trust me like it I like it mm -hmm. I keep driving and keep filming yeah, take my time and, and go through watch a tree them with the with the um things them hanging down look at the tree with the moss hanging down yeah watch them watch them trees here old florida watch a house here look at the house here look crazy right yeah i'll show no more things man look on these look on these look on them house here Look at this house over here and these are historical houses you understand historical houses sorry for the movement of the camera but you can be you can understand from the levels you see nice if me can find me got me go, when me come up closer if me get in anywhere me can park me park and show on what one what really going on in these here arcadia yeah so now we're in Highlands County again, Pierre Bush. 
I didn't get to stop in Arcadia, but yeah, we're in Highlands County and it's just one main road, SR70, all the way, yeah, pretty much all the way home. You know, it's beautiful guys, I can't explain the beauty. You know, a little bit parched, a little bit green, a little bit, you know, in between. But it is pretty much just land. You would not believe that, you know, people being crowded in the cities, all of this land is, is, is available. Well, not available, but is out here, you know, if you want to invest, I guess, maybe. But yeah, may I keep up the pace? I'm, I'm an hour and 20 minutes away from home. So, still got ways to go. I, I didn't find the places that I wanted to stop in Arcadia, but nonetheless, you know, this is just a little quick vlog just to show you Florida and the interior of Florida, you know, from that level. Yeah, man. Where we are now is between highways um us 27 goes this way us 27 goes that way and up that side is lake placid down that side is a city called more haven now you can take us 27 go all the way to miami this road can take you all the way to miami that's south and that is north all right so one of the few intersections along the journey and we are going straight you know we're going straight over this side and we are just about an hour and 15 minutes away from where we are actually going but i just wanted to show you us 27 intersects um state road 70 and that is the end result of that um somebody there selling fruits and then you have orange grove on the two side you know then you have RV resorts, a lot of RV resorts are, are along this route as well. Um, I don't see, there are several farmers market, but I don't see a lot. Um, yeah, you know, orange and all them type of thing, them mainly. You know, RV park over there. Um, bush, again, we're going back into the bush. So, yeah, just wanted to show you the route a little bit more, yeah. this place was interesting so I pulled off the highway for just a, a quick um, second because I saw this place and thought it was very interesting you know I think it's a it's a, it's called a pitch it's called Patriot Park or something like that yeah and just wanted you guys to see this you know names of those who gave their their lives in the Vietnam War the World War One and Two, um, Korea, uh, Afghanistan War, right there. Turn left onto Southwest Park Street, then turn right onto South Parrot Avenue. Yeah, the GPS is still on, guys. So, bear with me. 
but look at these they have some some weapon continue on florida 70 east for 25 miles let me stop that they have some stuff here and this is in Okeechobee, florida guys dedicated to the city the citizens of Okeechobee. this is a um, torpedo are not replicas these are real things you know 1961 to 1975 the vietnam veterans yeah man gotcha real thing by the wingspan yeah and so the inside i look soldiers used to be in the airmen and if i can't see good the control panel and all these things yeah this is crazy yeah. and then over there is some gun some guns yeah. big old gun Uh, army tank yeah going up in the air there I mean how big things this virgin crazy wow I mean it, it's so big make it, may, I mean to come close to this I know that this is real weaponry it's amazing to me Armaments it carry 105 millimeter gun, 7, 62 millimeter, 50 caliber round. Five. I don't know them something, them something are bigger things than when poor my little head can wrap around. Yeah, and then there's another gun right there. Yes, yeah, so this is Okeechobee, Florida. Patriot Park. All right, all right. Back on the highway again. So that's it, guys. Um, you know, we, we I'm about 30 minutes or so from home, and as you can see, I mean, the landscape is pretty much the same. You know, there there are interesting little towns and stuff, but as you know, I'm on a schedule, so I didn't get to stop and to do any much of details. There's some nice little um like family run businesses proprietor businesses where them sell barbecue and them little stuff there again i didn't get to stop you know aside from running into a place or, or two and using their restroom there's not much i did get some food as i showed you um you know I, i'll show you some of those those pictures um but yeah that was way in sarasota when i just um did my drop off but i just love the fact that I, I you know i'm driving two you know two hours and 45 minutes is what the time is and it you still feel you don't feel tired or nothing it's just a beautiful drive i'm looking at um rain clouds in up up in ahead of me so I know I'm heading home in the rain. But it was a good trip and I totally enjoyed it. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you want to see more posts like this. Continue to watch Yadi Belly TV. Much respect. And guess what? Take a drive man and enjoy yourself. See what is out there to see. Bless up.